Welcome back to Nerd with J&J. &J. James Sharmack here once again with another Arcade 1-Up video for you. So instead of a build or a play, we're going to talk about some reveals that have come across through the 2021 CES, uh, the virtual uh, consumer electronics show. So Arcade 1-Up has dropped a whole bunch of new cabinets for the coming year, some legacy cabinets, some brand new ones. So I thought I'd take a look at them, talk about them, see which ones I'm more excited about. Because I can always use maybe one, maybe two more. Not too much, but you know, I only have so much room in the nerd room. So uh, let's uh, talk about the new cabinet, shall we? So right off the bat, let's talk Dragon's Lair. A, f a game that I suck at, but you know, it's a game that you want to play, obviously, because it's what they call the first you know, full uh, motion video game. Anyways, Arcade 1UP is coming out with a not only a Dragon's Lair cabinet, but a Space Ace variant of it. But it will have the three games on it. It will have the two Dragon's Lair ones, one and two, as well as Space Ace. Uh, it will come with a unique design looking more like the cabinets itself. And it will have the option to have a second screen, which you can use your cell phone, as like a scoreboard so that's pretty cool uh, they couldn't have come up with this technology without you know first uh, unlocking the technology for big buck hunter so uh, there you go uh, it's gonna come with a customizer come with its own light up marquee uh, probably not one I'm gonna get but you know it is one that fans are clamoring for so you know of course people gonna want to get that one so let's uh, move on. Now, Arcade Up is using a more powerful chip. They're using better technology for their machine. So the next tables coming up is the Killer Instinct fighting one from Rare Entertainment, which you know you would think it's from Nintendo, but Rare owns a property. Uh, it's going to be have a light up marquee. It's going to have a riser. It's going to have artwork for. Uh, the Killer Instinct game, as well as going as it's going to have four games on it: the two Killer Instincts, Battle Toads the Arcade, and a bonus uh, Battle Toads Double Dragon. So uh, I'm curious to play Battle Toads Arcade, but you know it's not one that I you know it's not a cabinet I'm looking to get. But you know it is one that you know people have modded, people have tried to get. And, you know, it's another one table that, you know, people want to grab. These are all tables people want. So we're going to go to the last one and probably the one I'm looking forward to the most. And a cabinet that has me the most excited, a game I probably played more often than not in the early to mid-90s in the arcades, is the X-Men Konami cabinet they're doing. So it's a six-player one, so it's just going to be along the same template as a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. That they already put out which you know i probably should have gotten but whatever uh and it's going to have wi-fi capability as well as well as the two cabinets we have already talked about they're going to have wi-fi capability too so you can play online and uh it's an x-men cabinet so i'm looking forward to that all the cabinets will have either a plastic or a decal of a coin door so that's going to look pretty cool give it more an authentic look to it uh the cabinet for the X-Men game itself is going to have not only the X-Men Konami game, but it's going to have a couple Data East games. The uh, Captain America and the Avengers four-player side scroller. I used to play that a lot. I had it on Genesis. And uh, Avengers in Galactic Storm, which is a fighting game and one of the, you know, one of the first ones to have 3D more graphics. Uh, I'm not really looking forward to that one, but I will, would love to play Captain America and the X-Men again. I have X-Men on the PS3, but it would be awesome to, you know, play in an, on a cabinet online with other people. So, looking forward to that. So, let's talk about some classics, some retro, some legacy tables that they're putting out. So, let's get on to it. So, let's talk legacy cabinets. We're going to start off with the Atari one. So, each legacy cabinet is going to have 12 games onto it. Some games have already been on have already been in cabinets and whatnot so uh, Atari's gonna be more or less the same uh, it's gonna have pretty much the games most of the games you've seen already like Tempest, Centipede, Asteroids 
on the same table, but it will be in a Tempest uh, cabinet, looking exactly like the Tempest from the old. I'm gonna have a custom riser, I'm gonna have a marquee, stereo sound, all that. Looks Should look pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna have a spinner as well as a trackball controller. Um, I would love to get this just because, you know, you know, Centipede is a game that is, you know, dear to my heart. And it, have, it has Millipede under as well as Mezzle Command, among other games. So, uh, this is a maybe for me, but I don't know. I might get one of the other cables, uh, tables coming up next instead. So, um, who knows? So Bandai Namco is up next, and it has, of course, a Pac-Man cabinet for you, looking exactly like the cabinet from 40 years ago. Not the wood panel one, but the one with the yellow white, the yellow walls on it, with the Pac-Man and the ghost on the side. Light and marquee, riser. It's gonna have a whole lot of Pac-Man games. Pac-Man, Pac-Plus, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Land, Pac-Mania, pac and pal Gonna have a couple of other games like Mappy on it. Uh, this one I would like to probably get more than the arcade, uh, Atari Arcade, just because you know there are you know Pac-Man games on it I want. Like Super Pac-Man is for some reason always been one of my favorite games, and you know I'd love to have that. So that'd be pretty cool to have. So uh, yeah, that might be another game to get besides the X-Men, and uh, who knows. The final legacy tape cabinet they are offering is a Capcom Street Fighter 2 look with a whole lot of Street Fighter games on it. As I said, 12, ga 12 games on there, a whole lot of Street Fighters, every every which way, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2, pretty much every single Street Fighter 2 combination that they have, they're putting it on the table. Street Fighter is going to be on there. Dark Stalkers, a game that I probably like a little bit more than Street Fighter just because I'm a monster guy and horror guy. That's on there. It's going to have Commando. It's going to have 1942. So that's pretty cool. Um, I won't mind getting this, but, you know, you know, I think it's just Street Fighter Overload, but that's just me. I know there are people that think differently, uh, but it's going to have a riser and a light up marquee. I didn't see anything about Wi-Fi capability, so who knows. And those are the legacy tables. We have one more cabinet to talk about, so let's get on to it. So lastly, and you know, some people are really looking forward to this. It's going to be another cocktail table, but it'll be a circle-shaped one, and it will be Pong for four different players. So, you know, it's it'll be obviously more for a party type of atmosphere, get some drinks. You know, hang out around the table, play some Pong, play some Super Breakout. Should be pretty cool. And it's, you know, it's a very, very retro design going back to the 70s and whatnot. So, of course, you know, if you really want to get your retro up, it's probably one you want to get. So, um, yeah, those are the reveals. As I said, probably the ones I want to grab more than the others will be, obviously, the extra one I want to grab. I'm, I'm putting money away right now for the X-Men one, more or less. And if I want to get one more, probably the Namco one. Just because, you know, Super Pac-Man, right? So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If if I'm wrong, if you, you know, if you want to get a different table, let me know which one you're looking forward to, you know, more than the others. Uh, or if you want to see a table, let, let me know which ones you would love to see. I have some ones I would love to see, but who knows? Like, I didn't think they'd come out with an X-Men one. That was always, like, a, a dream of mine. Or not so much a dream, but, you know, that's, you know, would have been, uh, you know, a white whale. You didn't think they could ever come up with one, but here we are. So, uh, yeah, let me know if there's, you know... You have a dream arcade one-up table. Anyways, my name is James Sharmack. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, see you next time. And until then, keep on collecting and happy hunting.